Hey guys, how's it going? F8 Alpha here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are back in Inquisitor Martyr, and the latest update. I want to go ahead and show you guys the assassin here. As you can see, I'm spinning her around so you can have a look at her armor types and what they look like. I have all three of them. So that was the first one. Here's the second one. And this is the stealth bodysuit, I believe it's called. You can see it's... Um, Pretty intense. It's got an awesome uh, uh, face uh, cover or uh, mask. This one's more of a like Valkyrie look. Very uh, armored with the helmet and the uh, pauldrons and whatnot there. Comes across as very Valkyrie looking in my opinion. But I wanted to go ahead and show you guys those. And uh, this is what I'm running, with, running around with right now at the moment. I also wanted to go ahead and show you guys the different rifles that are special to the um, assassin here. You can go ahead and see. I'm going to go ahead and mouse over the different skills that are equipped on these weapons so you can go ahead and have a look at the abilities and the uh, different power and style of these weapons and how they'll play out here. And one thing to note is that the uh, needle gun, which is equipped right now, the needler sniper rifle, in my opinion, is probably the best weapon on the assassin as far as the sniper rifles go. It seems to be one of the most effective and uh, also fun. Um, and it's got a ton of uh, different skills here that you can... Uh, bring down your enemy with very quickly which makes it a very very potent effective weapon here now I have the Laz gun let's go ahead and switch over to the other sniper rifle here so this one is more of a standard sniper rifle I guess you would say although it does have this ability here which has a uh, area effect impact on it basically kind of lights the enemies up and has a, uh, a flesh bane which will bring down the unarmored enemy types very quickly uh, which is nice it's good for for uh, crowd control and bringing down those uh, lighter armored targets um, as quick as you can here also I wanted to go ahead and highlight that some of these weapons are interchangeable um, on the assassin so, if you have weapons from, say, your Crusader, some of them are equipable on your Assassin. Now, the two-handed weapons, the two-handed um, melee weapons or ranged weapons, she cannot equip. Um, and in the following patch that will be coming out here in a bit, they're going to go ahead and make it possible for the Assassin to equip pistols and two-handed melee weapons which would be great It'll give you that much more variety and versatility on the assassin um, back back to the sniper rifle here this is the last sniper rifle which is the um, third addition to the assassin here and as you can see some of the skills are very nice now I do not have any purple weapons, any of the artifact weapons. I do not have any of them. I am still working on getting some artifact uh, equipment and weapons for the assassin here. But I gotta say so far that these um, rare weapons are very effective and the assassin's game style which I will highlight and show you guys later on is very fast paced and you gotta keep on your toes and uh, keep a lookout for the enemies and what direction they're coming from and also the range that the enemy has what kind of weapons they're engaging you with is uh, very important as the assassin has very very little armor and health um, definitely not the crusader not the tank she is a very very damage oriented uh, character uh, inquisitor here now I'm highlighting the um, melee weapons here so you guys a quick idea 
of uh, the new melee weapons implemented in this latest patch here. So you can go ahead and uh, check out the skills as I'm highlighting them, as I'm mousing them over. And uh, I gotta say, I have tried the ranged variants, the sniper rifles, and also I have tried the melee uh, combat with the assassin. And I gotta say, for, for myself, I like her when she is using the sniper rifles, the needler. Um, the rifles, for me, I think are definitely the go-to. Um, now maybe the bladed weapons, the melee weapons, might bring down your enemies a bit quicker. However, you get to be closer, which means you're taking a bit of damage just getting that close from their range weaponry. And um, that can be negated with uh, some of the assassin's abilities uh, like the temporal fields and, and whatnot that she has at her special dart class. I can You can mitigate a lot of the damage and uh, she can actually slow down time um, and basically make the enemies move slow and you move uh, just as fast as you normally do which means you can go ahead and inflict tons of damage and dodge their attacks um, very effectively which is a new mechanic implemented with the assassin here the crusader is very much the tank very much the two-handed heavy weapons all in or nothing uh, type of build which is great to learn on great to learn the game's mechanics and how things work in the game because um, you can just walk out in the open and uh, engage a uh, decimator or uh, you know any kind of chaos marine or dreadnought um, with, without really having to uh, worry too much about your um, health which is nice but also um, it's quite a different feel from this assassin here the assassin is is very very fast very lightly armored now here I want to go ahead and kind of show you guys the new star map here and as you can see I am um, I'm pulling back as far as I can to show you guys this map and the additions that they've done to it. Now mind you, we still are in the beta, but just to see the progress that um, Neocore has made so far is great. I am I love to see the progress that they put into it, the work they put into it. Um, it's outstanding, I gotta say, very happy with what they've done so far. But as you can see here, I'm kind of mousing over the different planets that will be included in the full game once we get there. Um, this is this is great. As you can see, the different uh, they're not planets, actually, what galaxies or sectors, I believe. Um, and as you can see, they've added another level, so now you get to power level four. In addition to the uh, one, two, and three that we've already been playing with the Crusader, so let's go ahead and get back to our sector that we can play here. As you can see, the different areas that we can go ahead and uh, travel to. They've also added more planets to each section here. Each sector um, has more planets added to it. But like I said, they have completely added a entirely new power level here, power level four. And personally, I have not attempted this um, as I am still having to keep very mindful when I'm on power level one and two. I have to uh, pay attention very closely to my Inquisitor's uh, health, the Assassin's health, and uh, what I'm doing. So I have not yet tried four. But um, I gotta say, I am enjoying the Inquisitor. I am enjoying the Assassin Inquisitor. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and kick off a mission here for you guys to see the gameplay. And I am running basically two of the sniper rifles, the Needler and uh, the other one, which I cannot remember off the top of my head right now. But I am gonna go ahead and do this mission here so pay attention to how the assassin plays and uh, the damage and just how quickly you can annihilate the enemy in front of you. Um, 
I gotta say, I'm very, very happy with the assassin and how it turned out. The dodge mechanic, the uh, different um, additional mechanics like the distortion field and the uh, other mechanics that they've implemented so far in this game. Also, the cover system is great because now you can use the cover more effectively as there is more cover to use, which is pretty much the way you have to play the assassin because uh, while you can dish out an amazing amount of damage, you cannot take it in return. And so you have to pull back and constantly um, get to a safer area where you can go ahead and regenerate some of your health. But you guys will see that here in the gameplay. Let me know what you guys think of Assassin. Have you guys played the Assassin or not? And if you have, what's your favorite build? Are you uh, the melee, the up close and personal build? Or are you more of the ranged sniper rifle build? Please let me know in the comment section below. But with that said, guys, I'm going to let the um, mission play here. And I am F8 Alpha, and I will catch you guys next time.